Good day, gents, ladies. This is the Brinkman Trailmaster Limited Edition. If you're going to get a Brinkman smoke and grill, this is the way to go. Uh, their vertical Trailmaster uh, smoker is also very good. Um, the other ones. They've got a great price. Um, you do have to do some modifications um, to them. And after the modifications, you're going to get right around the ballpark of the price of one of these. Now, there may need to be some minor modifications of this. Uh, I am new to this smoke and grill and stuff. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Thanks, guys, for all your input. That's been very helpful. Um, found out. <coughs> With these previous videos you have to season these or christen these smokers kind of like uh, uh, getting a cast iron pan seasoned or ready for uh, cooking in the kitchen so <coughs> all you do is you um, you brush the inside compartment here and now according to the letter of the law I'm not supposed to really open this but uh, don't really care so I had to do this at the uh, video Let's see if I could help you guys out this inside here this whole area you spray down with canola oil vegetable oil peanut oil I would stay away from the peanut oil in case anybody has a real sensitive peanut allergy um, that may affect something uh, they may react to that negative way I put the uh, canola oil in a little spray bottle here sprayed around then I rubbed it and uh, rubbed it around in the uh, inside made it smooth with a uh, rag a couple things you're gonna want to have when getting ready to season this thing is you're gonna most likely want to get one of these chimneys these Weber chimneys and uh, essentially you fill this top part the deep part with charcoal you put all this uh, paper whatever kind of paper newspaper I used uh, um, spiral paper and uh, paper bags ripped it up put it in there crammed it in real tight and uh, set it down and I set it down in here on top of the grill and then you light the fire you get those coals white hot and then you dump them on the bottom you don't put them on that top grill you dump them down there on the bottom um, I use Royal Oak for the hard lump charcoal it's nice because it's cheap and it gets uh, nice quick and it's 100% uh, all natural and I got some uh, hickory uh, chunks, hickory wood chunks at the uh, store. And of course, got some Kirkland light beer. If you drink, I suggest getting a uh, good supply of that before you start. It's a fun process. It's worth getting involved with. I had my uh, sister, my wife, <coughs> my little boy out here help me out. And uh, got the cooler trash can you want to have a little spot to sit so then you get this fire going you keep this part open that keeps the airflow going keeps it nice and hot and then you can keep this chimney open keep the circulation it's a nice one here this just flips back open the fourth and uh, you let it sit for about three hours and you're supposed to keep it right around uh, 300 350 degrees from what I understand like I said I'm brand new to this but uh, the trail master limited edition if you're going with a Brinkman is the one I'd go for the uh, regular Brinkman's were uh, the metal was just a bit too thin gauge for myself and uh, it's winter time for me 
here in Colorado. So a lot of these were on a clearance and uh, pretty discounted prices. So it was good. And I'll have this thing ready and we're going to use it through the summer and all year long. And got it for uh, planning on doing the Christmas ham, doing uh, pork, loins, ribs, all kinds of stuff, whatever we can. I'm trying to get it, gonna try to get into this smoking thing with my wife. She is a uh, chef. And uh, this part though, this is mine. This will be my area. Our uh, Kilmore Elite gas grill exploded. The propane just got old, and the propane connection all that exploded and burnt that thing. So I went and got one of these. This here's the temperature gauge. Looks like it's burning real hot, 500 degrees, maybe hotter. Oh, this thing gets real hot. And uh, hope I'm not really messing anything up. I know uh, there's some guys out there that have been smoking their whole lives, and this thing is this thing is great. You can do the grilling in the little part there if you just want to grill up some burgers. You could do a big grill for a party, get together, or for a large family on the uh, big cylinder there. You can smoke meat in there. It's a great combination. You could do both. And there's some guys out there that have uh, been doing this their whole lives. Uh, leave comments if uh, you got any suggestions, tips, or any questions. And uh, I'll be researching this some more. But so far, it's, uh, it's a good deal. This thing's really easy to set up. It took me about uh, an hour or so. All right, y'all. Have a good winter. Stay warm.